Hey everyone, I am super excited to share one of our last videos. This is video number five, and today we're going to be talking about prizes, and then I'm going to go into great detail about the virtual party night. Lots of questions on that so far, so let's just dive right in. For the games that we're going to play during the entire party, I really try and keep it minimal because you don't want it to just be real gimmicky and you want to think about the games that you would play in home. You don't want it to just be an entire party of games that gets old real fast. Your people want to come and they want to hang out and relax and they just don't want it to be a one-year-old's birthday party. So for the games on the virtual party, the ones that I do that I have found to have really good luck with are bingo the deal or no deal game, and then of course my friends like um, the guessing games, so where people will put items inside our products and then you have to guess how many are in that. They really like that because it gives them a really good sense of size on that product because they can have a better sense of size on the, uh, the items that are in our products. So they really like those. Bingo, of course, is really fun. Everybody loves a good game of bingo. And if you have an older group of ladies, I really suggest doing the bingo because who is the number one demographic for bingo? Our older crowd. And so that really appeals to them and gets them engaged and involved. The deal or no deal game is great for um, the 30 to 40 year old range. They love that because they remember the show and that game is more right up there, Allie. I love deal or no deal and I really think ours is a really fun play on that. So when I'm doing games within the virtual party, I really try and do just one, maybe two, depending on the crowd. If I'm needing a little bit of extra participation and push, I'll maybe try for another game. But I'm going to space them out. So I'm going to do it maybe on day two of posts and then day eight. I'm not going to do them day after day. That's just It's just not my style and I really haven't found it to be beneficial. So just when you're doing games, just think about it and pre-plan and do games that you like, that you're going to have fun with and that also appeal to your hostess. So now let's talk about the virtual party night. And I do have my notes, so excuse me if I keep looking down. The virtual party night. I have found that the best night to do them on are Sunday nights. And for those of you that have done them, you might have found a different night and that's great. Do what works for you. But I have found that Sunday night works best and I really only try and do two Sunday nights a month of virtual partying. That way my every Sunday night is not taken up by virtual parties. So how does that work if I have 10 online parties? Well, guess what? I am doing more than one virtual party at a time. I normally try and do three to five virtual parties a night. And it's possible because I have a script I'm simply copying and pasting and uploading the photos, and I do not have more than 10 posts on each party. Ever, ever, ever in a virtual party night am I going to post more than 10 times because it's going to last longer than an hour, which is a big no-no, and your folks are going to get bored, and they're going to check out, and then they're not going to hang around for their shopping special, which is a great incentive for them to hang out until that last post which is what your last post is going to be, a shopping special. Doesn't have to be anything big, can be really simple and small. I do different things like wristlets, key fobs, oh snap bins if they spend over 100, free personalization. Don't give away anything that you're not going to make commission back on, just a rule of thumb. But that shopping special post is the very last post. And if your folks are dropping off because you've got 22 posts and you're at an hour and a half, they're not even going to see that shopping special. And so it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have any credibility. It's not going to make a difference in your hostess's sales. And so it's just not worth it. So 10 posts, no more than that ever. Keep it to an hour or less, and you want to make it fun. And you also want to look at it as your night to have your in-home party. So how would that look like for you as a consultant going in-home, but your in-home is your computer? So you kind of want to just mimic that as best you can. So the way I do it is I have a welcome post. I ask where everyone's from, a little bit about them. I'm also celebrating our hostess right up front and at the beginning. And I ask my guests to celebrate her. And then I'm going through the three sections of our catalog, home for you and for your family. And I'm posting real life pictures that are applicable to those sections. Then I'm doing some of the monthly special 
if I have a chance, I'll post a little bit of the bundles with that. And then I've got my shopping special and then I'm closing it out. Easy peasy, simple, and done. I'm reminding my hostesses that because I'm doing more than one party on a virtual party night that I might not be around immediately for answering the questions of everybody involved, but that's a great recruiting seed for her because it's her chance to step up and help. And she does. When you ask her, she will because she knows that through what? Participation, that her guests are going to love seeing her. And so when she's stepping up and she's doing it, that's a great way for you to go back to that and tell her how awesome she was, how helpful, how she just has a general knack for this. It's a great recruiting seed. And it also gives you the chance to do more than one and kind of make it worth your while on your night. Um, I think that's pretty much it about the virtual party. You just want to look at it as a chance to portray your personality again. And it's also the translation from the in-home to the online is how you're going to do it and what is going to work and how that's going to look for you. It's going to be different for everybody. And you just, of course, always want to make sure that you keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the point. And then, of course, have a little bonus with that shopping special. I hope that helps you guys. I can't wait to hear the questions. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.